by Kako, a Como Mida Curtain Call, a program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul Janes Brown. My recent mainland trip was a cornucopia of sights, sounds, and temperatures. The final show of my marathon theater holiday was Signature Theater's gripping drama, Is This a Room? Conceived and directed by Tina Satter, it is a dramatization of a transcript of the recording of the FBI interrogation of reality winner, Emily Davis, making her Broadway debut. She was the winner of an Obie Award for originating this off-Broadway performance as reality, and I am certain she will get a Tony nomination for this Broadway performance. The character is a government contractor who is being investigated for appropriating and disseminating a classified document regarding the involvement of Russia in the 2016 presidential election. The play is only a little more than 70 minutes long, but it is full of simultaneous line delivery, small talk, particularly about reality and Agent Garrick's pets and serious interrogation. When the FBI arrive, they announce they have a search warrant for the premises and reality's vehicle. When asked about weapons, this 25-year-old in cut-off jeans and an untucked white shirt announces an arsenal worthy of a standing ovation from the NRA. They continuously declare that their discussion and questioning of reality is entirely voluntary, but it doesn't feel that way, particularly when they tell her, we can do this here or at our office. Your choice. The mixture of serious, indictable conversation with everyday banter gives the play a surreal quality, and every time any of the characters comes to classified, redacted material, there is a huge foghorn sound effect to alert the audience. At one point, there are four very long, intermittent, consecutive blasts, most unsettling. Agent Garrick says to Reality, quote, We know more than what we are asking you, and you know more than what you are telling us, unquote. It kind of sums up what is going on. The cast was uniformly excellent. Besides Ms. Davis, there were Pete Simpson, who originated the role of Agent Garrick, who, like Ms. Davis, has been with the show from its beginning and is making his Broadway debut, Will Cobbs as Agent Taylor, and Becca Blackwell as unknown male Mr. Blackwell is a trans actor. The show has been extended for two more weeks until November 28th. If you are in New York over the holiday and Thanksgiving in New York with the Macy's Parade is worth the trip, check this out. The American Theater is open and alive. If you are going to New York or the East Coast, be sure to take some in. Well, that's Curtain Call for this week. Mahalo Nui Lo for tuning in. I'm Paul James Brown. Ahui ho.